Hey guys, welcome. So today we have a special unboxing. I have been looking forward to getting this fragrance. I recently unboxed one from Louis Vuitton, but this one is from the Maison, and I'm gonna slaughter this, I'm sorry. My French is not that great. Maison Francis Kirkijan, Paris. And this is the unbelievably popular um, Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, I was looking to get, deciding between this package, which is, as you can tell, not the standard size bottle, which I don't even know how many ml, I think it was like 75 ml, it wasn't even 100 ml, and getting something like this. The standalone bottle I think is about mm, like $300 right now, and this set, which is the actual, is the travel set, is is $2.95, so slightly less expensive. But why I got this and not the other bottle is that the other bottle, the normal size bottle, is not refillable. And in terms of the volume, I think this you get a little less in terms of fluid ounces, but the, ref the refills for this travel size are only is only and I'm and this is a ridiculously expensive perfume but when you wear this you feel ridiculously expensive oh my gosh anyway um, the refills I think are 180 so it's not as crazy as having to buy like a whole new bottle of this perfume and I've seen a lot of people do reviews on this fragrance and they all like ration it because it's so amazing. It's so expensive, but it's also so amazing. What's really great about this as well is it is unisex and it actually smells really good on both myself and my husband. So because of that, I also wanted to have different, you know, additional fragrances that he could take, you know, if he wanted, he could have one for him. And then this, the rest of course would be for me. <laughs> Any, let's get into this cause it's beautiful. I want to show you guys. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to try to do this on camera so you can all see just taking off the plastic. Okay. And I purchased this at the uh, South Fifth Avenue at the Galleria, which is in our area here in Houston. Um, so let's open her up. Let's see if we can pull it apart. I'm taking it down a little because it's too awkward. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so here's the outer packaging. And then when you open her up, here's the box. Really pretty. I mean, again, for something this expensive, you would expect really quality packaging. So here's the box and let me open the box. Oh, wow. So this is the entire set. They have a little booklet here, um, a message. I don't know, maybe you can just, it's just about the perfume. And here we have, so you get five, whoa, five different uh, refills, which is great. Cause when you buy this, afterwards they sell them in sets of three and each one of these is i don't even think it's a full i don't know if it's an ounce or not um i was so eager to unbox this for you guys that i honestly did not pay attention i'll have to leave information i'll leave it somewhere on the screen in terms of how many fluid ounces are in each of these uh, little refills but what's beautiful is that you have this container here this is where you put the actual refill just so beautiful, right? It's got a magnetic top. Who doesn't love that? Oh my gosh, I could do this all day. Like, I don't know why this is addictive. But what's really interesting is I have another set of perfumes and I'll link, leave the link for my other fragrance video that I did in preparation for Mother's Day. Um, and I had one of these from that set and it was from Killian, Love Don't Be Shy. And unfortunately, and I did think to ask, that refill is specifically for Killian. And all these different fashion fragrance houses, they require you buy their uh, refill because their refills only fit in certain of their cases. So when you take this off, it is magnetic, so I'm gonna pull that off. You see here is the insert, right? And so you take one of these little beauties, put it in, okay? and then you cover it. Oop, there you go. Okay, very cool. And so this way I can carry it with me. I will tell you, this is quite hefty and uh, I would expect it to be pretty substantial being that this is 
a very expensive brand of perfume, but I honestly, uh, I've used it before. Um, I bought samples and I do recommend, and if you're not ready to invest and buy something like this and you know get a pretty serious investment into this fragrance, you can go, there is a, a website, it's called I think fragrancesamples.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Basically, they offer you the ability to get like a smaller amount. You can get anything from, I think, 1 ml all the way up to 25 ml. So you can actually try it out. I mean, but I have to tell you, from my reactions, people smell this on you. And it's very uh, interesting. There are a few people, I'm sure, that don't like it. Like there's maybe something in it that they don't love. Most people smell this and they say... This is what rich smells like. So it is truly a real luxury perfume. And I wish honestly that I could describe this more. Um, there are tons of videos you can check out about Baccarat Rouge, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This is the travel set. And like I said, when it comes to the amount of perfume and how quickly you can get this refilled, I thought this was really the best way to go. Okay, so what was really nice is even in this day where we are all wearing masks and sanitizing, the SA at Saks was really nice and she also gave me some additional samples to try from Maison Kirkajan. And this one is called Amorous. And again, in the comments, let me know, have you guys tried any of these? Do you like any of these perfumes? I'm really interested. I, will, I haven't smelled them yet but um, I am very interested in seeing how they compare to Baccarat Rouge. So here we have Amorous, and then this one is called Aqua Universalis. And again, if I am slaughtering these names, I, I apologize, okay? But the, this is the other one. And then we have something called A La Rose. And I wonder if this is at all similar to Louis Vuitton's Rose de Vent, which is very popular. Uh, so I'm gonna be eager to try this out. And if you look inside, this is so beautiful. The sample has the picture of the full-size bottle in addition to the actual little sample here and something about the fragrance on this side. Um, so they have that, and I'll actually go back. That is available for all of these. So this is what the Amaris looks like. And this is the Aqua Universalis. I think that's how it sounds. And then this one is Petite Matin. Petite Matin, I think that's how it's pronounced. And that's what that looks like. So I was really pleased that she was able to give me some of these samples to try in addition to the Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge 540 is definitely my favorite. And just one other note, um, with regards to the Baccarat Rouge 540, they also, this is an Eau de Parfum, which is pretty strong, but they make a extrait version of this, which is like, I think it's a slightly in, more intense fragrance. Uh, both are really good. I think I found that the intense fragrance smelled better on my husband, but um, I just, I, I love this. I know that my daughter loves this. Anyhow, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing with me. And if you try out these fragrances, let me know what you think of them. Again, Baccarat Rouge 540 is an amazing fragrance to try. Anyhow, please, if you like this kind of content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my luxury addicted family. And I know there are other addicts out there. I am not alone. So we need to group together, strength in numbers. Okay, guys, I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.